In this video, I will tell you about the box and whisker plot, how to obtain this plot in SPSS. So first you have to come on the variable view of SPSS. I have created a variable media hours, numeric type, and then label has been given hours per day spent on media. So we have assumed that we have some data about say 15 students who spend some hours in a day on media. So go to data view where you can see I have this data. For example, the first student spends eight hours on media per day. Similarly, the second student spends six hours and we have the numbers for 15 students. In order to obtain the box and whisker plot, you have to go to the tape graphs, then legacy dialogs, and click on box plot. So you have to choose simple and then you have to select the second option, which is about summaries of separate variables. Click on define button and you can see that this variable has already been shifted over here when you will perform your analysis you might see this variable on the left panel so by clicking on this button you have to shift this variable on the right hand side and now then uh, you will click on the ok button and you can see that we have these two pieces of information where the first table actually gives you the short statistics about the data where you can see that total number of students are 15 so total data points are 15 hundred percent data is given and none of the values is missing so we have this uh, box plot box plot gives you the information about five statistical values as you can see these lines which are out of the boxes are known as whiskers so this shows the minimum value in the data and this line 7 shows the First quartile, this line 8 shows the second quartile, also known as median, and this shows the third quartile, whereas this line, which corresponds to the number 10, stands for the highest value in your data. So, this is how we can obtain the box and whisker plot. So, basically, the major advantage of obtaining box and whisker plot is to locate the outliers, if any, in your data set. So in our current data set, there is no any outlier. So for example, if I include a number which is a little bit away from the points which we have mentioned, for example, instead of 10, I'm going to assign here, say, the number 13. And now I repeat the procedure of getting this uh, box plot and I will see that what kind of uh, difference I'm going to have in my box and whisker plot. So you can see that I have this uh, circle here on my new box and whisker plot. And this six shows that this data point, this data point is, is your sixth student. So going back here, uh, you can see that the six uh, this is six student yes so a circle is plotted which shows that this point is away from your data point so now uh, instead of taking let's suppose here the number nine now i'm going to check the number say 29 so which is also far far away from our uh, data most of the data points so let's see what happens now so repeat the procedure of getting box plot and and see what we are going to get in our new box plot so you can see that we have the same circle here this data point which is which shows that this is outlier and then you have another asterisk here uh, which is of course um, an outlier but why do we have a circle here and then this outlier is denoted by asterisk basically uh, this circle of course is an outlier which requires some concern but the asterisk which is once again an outlier in our data but asterisk shows that this number requires the major concern 
So maybe this is a mistake in writing a data and as far as our this data is concerned, clearly this number is a mistake because we are we are actually writing that how many hours are spent by a student on media per day. So there are 24 hours in a day and I have mentioned here 29. So clearly it's a mistake. So in short, um, circle requires the concern and asterisk requires the substantial concern when you are going to deal with the box and whisker plot. So this is the advantage of box and whisker plot. It, it actually highlights the outliers in our data set. So that's it. This is uh, all we need to obtain box and whisker plot from a data set. Thank you for watching.